everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are at the 2022 Alliance Rally here in Elkhart, Indiana. Well, one of the good things about going to the rally is you get to see all the new stuff upcoming and all the prototypes, you really get a sneak peek. But I'm so excited because there's all new lineups, all new floor plans, brand new colors, and just so many awesome changes coming down the line for Alliance. I just can't wait to show you. Starting it off, I want to start with the all new Alliance Avenue All Access Series. Now this one's a 26 RD. This is their first floor plan and um, I think this is probably still a prototype, but, but as you can see, it's the All Access Series. It's very, very similar to the regular Avenue, but this is going to be kind of competing. This is going to be the smaller sized Avenue. So. It's kind of competing with your half-ton towables in the Cougar line and the 150 series and the Grand Design line. Now, I talked to Ab a little bit about it, and what I really love that he did is not stick with the half-ton towable or the 150 series because they're really not trying to promote you towing this with a half-ton truck. Because truthfully, only some of the smaller all-access series are going to be able to be towed with the best equipped a half ton truck. So really it's more about access into state parks is what he uh, described it or smaller campgrounds and easier to navigate. So most of the time you're still gonna want a three quarter ton truck for this. But again, it's giving you that access and kind of a smaller feel without compromising really like quality and a lot of the interior colors. So I love how they did that. So um, they're still using like a lot of the core features and everything they're still using, which, you know, the Kurt Rotoflex pin box, painted fiberglass front cap, um, Asdale composite sidewalls, I love that. But you'll see some stuff is smaller. Propane, oh, they are still using the bigger propane tanks oh, okay. right there. But the storage is definitely smaller. You'll see that here. But again, this is for, you know, you're probably still not gonna good. wanna be full timing in this. Maybe yeah. if you're single, just going by yourself. Um, Part of it you're saving on the weight because honestly it's just a shorter. This is a very short it is. wheel. It, yeah, for you know? sure. This is for the people that like almost would get a travel trailer. Yep. But they were like, oh, you know, maybe I'll go with the fifth wheel because the towing just feels a little bit better. Right, exactly. You know? um, you'll see that they are using Goodyear Endurance tires now, which I, nice. I absolutely love. And they're even still using the Moride Cree 3000, which is really cool. I touched on the auto leveling, right, didn't I? Four point no. electric auto leveling Same still. Same as we have, yeah. Same as we have, yeah. And it's actually going to be better for this because it's so small, mm -hmm. you know, it's going to be more stable. Solid steps, I love that. I think that's it for the outside. Oh, a little bit of storage here, actually. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I didn't oh, either. Oh, that's very cool. That's actually really nice. Like if you have fishing poles or whatever. Yeah. Longer So what's really things. cool is they're still using their benchmark chassis. So technically, again, never recommended. You can tow behind this up to 3,000 pounds yeah. with 300 pounds of vertical hitch weight. We would recommend more. This is for your cargo racks, your bike racks. We exactly, but it's towing. just nice knowing that you have, you know, that strong of a frame that you could do that. Right. Um, and they're still using the ladder, the nice Yeah, ladder. this is the ladder we have, and it's not like your typical RV ladder, and it's like super, super strong. Like right. it doesn't flex at all when you're going up. Yeah, and guys, we're probably gonna go a little more in detail with this one just because it is brand new. Yeah, um, let's see that inside. Yeah. So I love walking in first thing. I love this U-shaped dinette, plenty of cabinet space. Still using the nice big atrium windows. It feels, you know, really nice and bright in here. And Jen, this talks about a lot of the Alliance different stuff. Yeah. If you want to show that, you can. Yeah, if you guys want to pause it, just kind of look at yeah. it. Yeah, PVC roof, the high efficiency air conditioner, 27 BTU. Which we personally have found is very high efficient and quiet, which I love. Exactly. And then the performance running gear, which is really, really nice. Again, I'm not going to go into all the detail about that, but I pointed some of it out. Like I said, benchmark chassis, Asdell, you know, flush, flush floor, floor slides. Yeah. But this is something no, no vents in the floor exactly this is something um it was kind of interesting we had like a little situation when we were in tennessee my parents rented one and alliance has those shutoff valves everywhere well in my parents rv somebody backed up the toilet a little bit <laughs> and it started overflowing and, uh, and my dad he's not an rver he's like where's the shutoff he's looking all around behind the toilet and there wasn't one because um, oh, wow. it's not it's I guess it's not required on on uh, RVs. RVs so you had to shut the whole water off oh, um, nice. that's so, well, it's but nice Alliance that does do that, that. yeah yeah I love I think that this u-shaped dinette is so cool because I just you don't see a lot of u-shaped dinettes in the rear on a fifth right. wheel like that 
it's a really huge, like a huge table. Yep. Um, you really can sit a lot of people around it and like, like comfortably, like, you know right. what I mean? Right. So exactly. I think they did great with that. And they still got the theater seating in. This trailer is probably going to come in. We're going to have all the specs. Uh, dry weight, what did I say it was right? Like Just under 8,000. Yeah. yeah. Um, for this particular one, of course, it's going to be based on how you option it. My guess is tip to tip length is right around 29 feet, 30 feet. Um, so to get all this in, you know, 30 feet, yeah. the U-shaped dinette and the... Uh, look how, uh, I mean, and then look how bright it is and like yeah. how tall the ceilings are. It's crazy. Right? I mean, it's still really tall ceilings. Plenty of storage, residential microwave. I mean, this kitchen's pretty good. You it's know? a beautiful kitchen. It's a beautiful kitchen, yeah. You know, you don't see like these half you know i say half ton but these you know yeah these lighter fifth wheels you don't usually see like the the interiors this light and right bright in them well the nice thing is is they're not like cutting corners like a lot of times you'll see that and i talked about that in a previous video you know it's all kind of percentaged if you know you add a thousand dollars into one motorhome it might only be half a percent or if you add it into a really small travel trailer it could be like five percent makes right. a big difference so in a smaller trailer it is harder to get higher end features because just to like get the return on that it's not always there but i love how it's still like solid surface countertops everything looks really really nice yeah, beautiful nice big right i think this is a residential fridge you uh, sure i think it's i thought it was 12 volt it might be 12 volt yeah yeah you're right i'm sorry it is 12 volt yeah um, and I, we found because we have a 12 volt fridge and i'm telling you guys such a game changer it is. we can leave our rig parked outside and for the most part, the fridge will stay running yeah, all day long. It will. Now at night it might at go night. off if the, only because we only have one solar panel and what one or two batteries. We have one battery. It's so really we, not even the solar. The solar right. could probably charge. Yeah, it's just batteries. the it's just the power storage. But I'm telling you, like, and but if you're not like opening it, it'll retain the cold. Like you can sit with your rig unplugged, and the fridge will just pretty much stay running. Like I like know. we had our we had our rig at the farm in Maryland. Yeah. And we had groceries in it and like the whole time, good. and they were fine. Yep. You know, it's just crazy. Yeah. I love this little flip up counter as a natural wood. Yeah, that's pretty. I wish we had that in ours actually. I like that. Coming in here, all these doors are still framed out and everything. Um, we'll check out this bathroom. Of course, it's going to be smaller, but um, should I do the shower test? Yeah. Wow, great size at... shower height. Yeah. I mean, it's probably maybe slightly less than what we have now, but not much. Right. I mean, it looks now, honestly width pretty compared. Yeah. Glass, but. Um, depth is great. But for this so. size fifth wheel, I actually think it's a really nice bathroom. And what they did smart, which is so many manufacturers mess this up, it's like, just make that, uh, what do you call that? Like the little skylight yeah, thing? Yeah, make the skylight, yeah. Like, like make it almost the whole, the whole, the whole width, width of the shower yeah. so that you can move your head around, you know? Right. So, yeah, yeah this overall, bathroom's awesome. You know, like this is about the, the amount of space we have in our bathroom between it the sink is. and the toilet. So for a small fifth wheel, you're getting a pretty good bathroom. Right, and truthfully, they probably could have done the same size bathroom, I mean shower, if they got rid of maybe like that, and there's yeah. something over here too. Yeah, they gave which a lot, pretty good storage though. Yeah, I'm okay with that size shower, honestly, because you have all this storage in here, and they did shorten up the bathroom storage a little bit to give you this, which is really, really yeah. nice, um, and drawers and everything. Because again, a lot of times in the smaller fifth wheels, all you'll get is this, yep. and it's just not a lot to put all your clothes in. Right, you'll, so. a lot of times they'll put this all the way down, and then right. this will be hanging storage, but I do prefer having like a more dedicated I agree. You know, closet space. Now, queen size bed, which any, anything like this, there's no slide in the uh, bedroom because they want to keep that pin weight yeah. down. If there's a slide here, a lot of that weight gets transferred yep. to your truck. Um, and they're trying to keep those numbers down a little bit. Yeah. But um, overall, I mean, considering that, there's really good storage in here. Um, only one AC, but it is option for the second. I really wish it was uh, standard with the second. You know, I mean, it's okay. The nice thing is, is it's like, it's really easy to add the second AC unit in at the dealership or yeah. you can order with it from the factory. So I got the specs on this unit. It's 28 feet, 11 inches, and that's tip to tip. So nice and short. And these are gonna range from probably about, my guess is 26 to 32-ish. Um, this one's 7,800 pounds drive, rough estimate. And the pin weight will be 1,300, 1,350. There are a few changes coming that I was told about. One is you see this control panel back here, 
Oh, which yeah. actually isn't probably the most ideal place since you got your slide here. It's not terrible either, but they are going to move that to over here. I think that's smart near um, the door. Yeah, yeah, I think that's really smart. And then I think he said he was breaking up a little bit, but they're going to put drawers here okay. instead of cabinets like that. Now, Joe, we kept talking about how like wide it felt in here, and it was kind of like something big we were missing. Wide Any body? ideas? Huh? Wide body? It is a wide body. Yeah. And it is the only of its kind that I know about that is wide body. There's no other half ton or um, 150 series that are wide. I hope you guys really enjoy getting a sneak peek at this all new, all access series by Alliance Avenue. Um, so this is a new line for Avenue and they're gonna have more floor plans on this and we'll make sure to bring them to you as they come But I'm really excited to see what they're doing here. Alliance always knocks it out of the park So huge kudos to them again. Great job on what you put together. All right next up for the Avenue line I want to show you guys the 36 BRM now this floor plan has been out for a little bit But I think the last time we showed it on our channel was at the Hershey RV show and it was actually a prototype then So the back bunk area wasn't finished and now it is so we want to kind of show you guys what that finished product looks like I think they did a good job kind of taking feedback and making some improvements to that bunkhouse area so real quick I'll give you guys the specs so the length of the 36 BRM is 39 feet 5 inches the dry weight is 11,700 pounds and that pin weight is 2,570 pounds so I want to show you guys on the outside real quick what's cool is that you got this outside kitchen so it's more just like a cooktop space. So if you guys want to get a, like a little blackstone or a little cooktop, you can kind of put whatever you want there, which I like. You're not right. like limited to whatever, you know, Alliance wants you to have. And then they gave you a little mini fridge. So you'll see what we got going on, on the inside and why we had the space for this outside kitchen. But I love that feature. Now something cool, Jenna, this is the only avenue, um, or we got to tell them the, the joke. Oh, uh, with avenue, so. Uh, I think this Matt came up with this. So, yeah, he did. So if you guys all know the the product manager for the Avenue, his name is Ab. He's our good friend. He's a super sweet guy. Um, and so Matt started calling it the Avenue. <laughs> and we've said it so many times on videos now that like now people are starting to come up and be yeah. like, oh, it's the Avenue. So I don't think he, I don't <laughs> know if he likes Ab, it enough. <laughs> we asked Ab. We were like, how many people come up and tell you that they love the Avenue? Avenue. And he was like, probably. A little bit more than I'd probably like. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't know, we named our avenue Abby yep. after Ab himself. So. But what I was going to say is this is the only avenue with um, six-point hydraulic as of right oh, now. Yeah. I mean, six-point electric, electric, I'm sorry. Yeah, because we have four-point on ours. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really nice feature just to kind of get that is. stability. Now, I'm not going to do a full walkthrough on this floor plan. Um, I mean, the front I, half's the same exactly. The front half ours. is like ours, like with the front bedroom. Um, this kitchen is pretty similar. Uh, we have just the theater seat in the back with the TV. I like the TV placement right across from the theater seats. Um, but the biggest thing I want to show you is back here in this rear bunk room area. Now, I'll put the footage of when we showed this at the Hershey show. But the bed used to be kind of like turned more like this way. Right. And it made it like really, really tight to get through here. And what they did is they, they spun the bed. And um, so now both beds, you know, you have kind of the headboard here. And so what it's done is create like a really nice walkway. Like I'm telling you, you like, show that? it's amazing yeah. how much more space you have here. And what's nice is they have all these drawers oh, here nice. for storage. And so you actually have like room now to like pull the drawers out all Are the there way. Four drawers? Yeah, wow, four that's big drawers. awesome. Four big drawers. So if you have, um, you know, people coming with you, they got space to put their clothes. And there's also some little cubbies here where they can put more stuff. And what I like so much about this floor plan is that it accommodates more than just like a family with little kids. So if you're, you know, maybe you like for us, like this floor plan would be kind of cool for us because sometimes now he has motor, his motorhome, but like Matt would like sleep on our trifold or Will's sister comes with us a lot. And it would be nice to have a bed that's like more comfortable for an adult to sleep yeah. on. Or maybe you have like your in-laws with you or something like that. Um, so I just like how versatile it is. And if you do have kids like, you know, you could really fit four kids in here. You could. Um, so coming back here, this has stayed pretty much the same, I think. But you got a little half yeah. bath here. I don't know. I don't think that's going to be a prime pooping position. Well, I don't think so. It's a little tight to it's the It's a little tight, but again, it's a half bath. They, they needed to like turn it. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to tell it. Why don't you try it? <laughs> like I could make it work, but it's really tight. Yeah, I can here. see that. It probably and literally, work if for they me. just turned it like this, it would have been perfect. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, right, I mean, they well, can make that Now we need to go have a talk with Ab, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, Ab. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, so that's a little look into the 36 BRM. This floor plan has been out for a bit, but um, we hadn't really like shown the finished product on our channel. So yeah, I think this is a really cool floor plan. They did a good job creating a bunkhouse that works for like different types of customers. Real quick, before we continue, I wanted to let you know that Will is opening up a few spots in his calendar for RV consultations. So if you guys are looking to buy one of these alliances, or if you have any other questions about buying, selling, or trading an RV, check out the link in the description to schedule a call with him. Now this is something new that we've just started, so he's only opening up a few time slots right now. So if you are interested, make sure to book your call soon. All right, I'm really excited because we're over at the brand new floor plan for the Paradigm. It's the 382 RK rear kitchen. And I've actually never been in this before. Will has seen it. I've seen the floor plan and I told Will, I was like, this might be my perfect fifth wheel. And, but I haven't actually seen it in person yet. So you guys are gonna get my first impression. But I do wanna talk about the fact that they're doing new exterior colors. And from what I've heard, new interior colors. Yes. But what I like is they have the new Paradigm logo here that has like their, their signature like A um, icon that they use all over the Alliance brand. And so I like how they kind of incorporated that. I'm sure what it was, is like, you know, Paradigm was their first unit that came out. And so now that they've really built up a brand and, and like they, you see the A across a lot of the units with the exteriors and stuff. And so I like how they have now reincorporated that into the Paradigm. And also the colors are a little bit different. So we went from a really strong gold to a little bit more of like a beige color. Right. Um, but yeah, it looks really nice on the outside. And again, I don't know a lot about it. So Will's gonna help provide some input from behind the camera, but I'm just give, giving you guys my first impression of this. Right so, now, you know, today's the last day of the rally, Jen. Yes. And I've looked at this, but I've tried to keep you away because I worry we may end up finding our next fifth <laughs> wheel. <laughs> well, here's the thing, guy. I love my avenue. Right, Will, and I I, Will and I have talked that there is a high possibility that one day we are gonna get a paradigm. I don't think I don't think the time is now, but no. I'm excited to see this because when that Maybe time it comes, is this. it might be. This and the point. funny thing is, we say this now, but truthfully you know alliance they come out with so many good they floor come plans. out with so many new floor i just remember when i saw the floor plan for this i was like oh my gosh like this is everything i've right. wanted and we're not stuck to alliance either if somebody else came out with yeah. something really good too i mean you just never know so but today me, i feel yeah. like you know so tell me a little bit exterior stuff it looks like it's got six point hydraulic yep, leveling six point hydraulic of course they're using the benchmark chassis um all the good running gear asdale sides um, yeah, all the standard stuff on the outside. I do like how they did the two awnings. So yeah. this has, I believe, four slide outs, if I remember correctly. Yep. And you I know, like that they did do the yeah. slide out on the, um, I mean, the, the awning the on, the on the slide, slide out. out. That's what I was going to say, because otherwise you could lose some camping space. Yep. Now they didn't on this one, but that's that slide is out right now. And it's it's hard. It's a, it's a very shallow slide, slide, so it doesn't make a difference. But huge awnings. I mean, awnings stretch almost from they do, to tip, yeah. So a lot of, like, that's awesome. But let's actually see what the inside looks like. Yeah. And again, this is 2023. It is a prototype with right. all their new colors and everything. But I think this is the colors and all that that they're going for. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, guys. Cool. What do you think? First impression? I like, you know how like, you walk in and you're like, I need to process this. Yes. So we have three couches and the three seating areas in the living space. So Two sofa beds. One set of recliners. And I'm liking this well. I think it's electric. electric. Yeah, all electric. Nice sized TV. Did you open that closet door there? Yeah, what is this? Oh, a half bath? Yeah. Okay, I am liking this well. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So here's one. So let's come back so, here first. Like, again, I've seen this floor plan, so this is just the first time I'm like seeing it in person. And what I loved about this floor plan is. I love how they're still doing three sofas. Yes. Now this is debatable because I know like you and Matt reviewed like some river stones and stuff in Georgia recently. Mm -hmm. And um, they were doing, in, in units where you could typically fit three sofas, they were starting to do a desk. Right. And I know some people like that. Me personally, I'd rather have the three sofas because I find that we have two sofas in ours and sometimes it feels like there's not enough sitting space because the dogs will take one. Yeah. You know, and then I And then you and I might have one if we have any guests. Any guests, you know, so like it go, it fills up quick. And personally, um, I, I get it for people who really want to like a dedicated space to like sit and work, but I'm one where I will sit on the couch a lot. I'll sit on the theater seat yeah. or, um, and you still have like a, a dining table that you can sit right, at. Right, that's what at. I was going to say is if anything, I would do a desk here. Because we don't end up using the dinette that much. I mean, we'll eat right. outside or, you know, I mean, 
I'll eat at the table more, but if there was a desk there, I could just eat at the desk. Yeah, I mean, or they could, like, do, since it is a flush floor, they could have done a, a table that... That's what I mean, like, like turn it, yeah. yeah. have two seats. Yeah. And I'm fine with this, too. Um, but, like, that, you know, that's definitely could, be, could have been an option and everything. Yeah, But I sure. love how you still have a table to sit at. Like, right. you're not losing, like, a possible desk space, but you get three sofas. And then back here, like, you get this huge rear kitchen. And I'm actually loving the colors. Right. You know? Like, I like the avenue, but it's like you come into the Paradigm, and it just kind of has, like, a like a regal, like high it end does, to it. it really I, love, does. I love this countertop. It's like that kind of like gray, white, like marble or quartz. Yep. Looking. Now and they have um, new cabinet colors. What do you think of them? I love them. I, I actually like them better oh, than, yeah. than before. I love, I, I don't, it might be the brown's a little bit lighter. The brown's a little lighter and the, the brown's a little more light brown. And this the white's a little more creamy, whiter white. Yeah. Before I feel like it was more of a gray white. Okay. Um, well, I really, I mean, I like the original. I love the two-tone, but I, I mean, this looks great too. I love the, the brown. And the um, handles, the they're yeah, just like a nicer touch. Yeah. And I, I love this, this kind of creamy white and everything. And then you got, this is what I would love to have. It's like a big, um, yeah, like for burner. apartment style stove and oven. Really, really like that. And what I love is like, so we have a nice window in our kitchen too. But then you have this nice window space that here. Is it nice. lets in a lot of natural light in the kitchen. Yeah. And then just like tons of countertop space. And the nice thing, like there's an outlet. That's what I'm noticing, guys, is being in our rig. Like you notice like outlets if they're right. not in a really convenient spot. And I like how they put an outlet here because you could put like your instant pot right, right here. So that's really convenient. Huge fridge. That's Ooh. the same fridge we have. Is it? Yeah. Sure? The, the doors look wider. Maybe they are, but I think it's the same. It's the same. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's just because it's like, I don't know, it looks wider to me here. It is the same fridge. It is, yep. Yeah. Doesn't our, oh, you know why, like, ours looks different is because it's raised up higher. Because I'm like, these You're right. handles are too low. Yeah. And then look, you still get, you, so you get the half bath in the bed, so then you still get a big pantry back That here, is awesome. With the little light strip in it. Right. Yeah, I love this well. <laughs> I knew you would. <laughs> Now this is what, like our living space is okay, truthfully. It's not yeah. great, but like, it's okay. Like I'm fine with our living space. But, but up bathroom. here, it, it does get tight in our bedroom and in our bathroom. Yeah, let me turn these lights on. And we know what this looks like. This is the front of a of a 370 FB, yeah. the back of a 372, which is really cool. But I love how like much, cause our bed is kind of a little tighter to the dresser. Yeah. And I love like how much space you have at like, the end Look here. at that, that's so awesome. Sometimes it's a little, it is a little tight like getting dressed and stuff in the bedroom and this is like nice and will right now is sitting on the little bench seat yep uh, i've always I, they've done that in quite a few paradigm models right. i love that just to like sit down you know, put your shoes on mm -hmm. have a little bit more space to relax and everything it a just, little more feel roomy a little bit more roomy you got the hidden storage which is always cool oh look they they got like a uh smart tv oh nice because it's already got like it looks like the fire tv yeah that's cool Okay, and then this is really like, I've always loved their front baths. I know. But then I also love the, the rear kitchens. Right. And it ha I feel like it's been in the past, like you can't get everything. Yep. This floor pan, I feel like you literally get everything. Right. Like you get this huge, look at this huge bathroom. This is that bathroom that you guys have probably seen in like the, what is it? What the is 370 the, FB. 370 FB. Yep. You get like this huge, huge shower. shower. This is now what do you, what do you up. think of these countertops and and all that so this cabinet I'm, drawers i'm not honestly like cr that crazy about the black color. i agree i thought you were gonna like it okay. i did i was telling somebody i didn't really like those black countertops you know what's funny is like i've seen sometimes where when they do light cabinetry in the black I, that i like it i think i'm not loving the epoxy because it's so shiny Maybe. i think if it wasn't as shiny looking i might not mine. It the could darker. be the white swirl stuff. Yeah, in it's it just too. a little too dramatic and shiny. But honestly, like it's not that bad. Honestly, I'd be fine with it. <laughs> right. Because like I love how big the sink is here, how much countertop <coughs> space you had. Again, I always say this, like, unless you have a, a, a enough room for like two nice big sinks, just give me one sink. Yep. Because likely Will's gonna be showering. I'll be out here. We don't need two sinks to be yep. able to use at one time. I agree. And then you still it's nice how you get the medicine cabinet here. But you still get two windows, so you got some natural light coming in, and tons of storage space under here. All right, and then to wrap up the bathroom, we have this really, really nice front walk-in closet, which again, I've seen this before in like the front bath. And um, you got the stackable 
washer dryer space here, lots of hanging, hanging um, closet space, tons of little like cubbies, and I like how they put the edge there so you can like, right. up and not worry about it flying off. Um, and then also they give you the little laundry, but that's actually laundry, cool. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I like that. Well, that wraps up this brand new paradigm. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We're gonna jump over and show you a couple more units now. So we're gonna finish up with the last one and it's probably the newest and one of the coolest, honestly, in my opinion. Now this is definitely in prototype phase. So you're gonna see a lot of stuff that's not done and a lot will change. Don't take this and expect everything to be exactly the same if you do end up purchasing because a lot of things will change. But this is an all new Valor toy hauler, but it's not just a Valor toy hauler like we're used to. It's a toy hauler travel trailer, what? which is really cool. I was hiding the front until you said that. Yeah. Even though you can kind of tell because the roof is a slope. But... Yeah, so there's no front cap on it, so we're gonna skip that. Um, they have it covered. But... Yeah, this is like true prototype phase. This is true prototype phase. Um, but yeah, really nice tall. This is gonna be a high-end, really good quality toy hauler travel trailer. There's a lot like some of the Wildwoods and and um, Cherokees and stuff like that, more entry-level toy haulers. And um, they're kind of more just like, hey, get you up off the ground. But then this is gonna more compare with the Momentum toy hauler travel mm -hmm. trailers. Um, so really high-end, really put together well. On the outside, you'll see there's no front storage at all. Uh, nice speakers on the outside. I don't see... One of the big things that I liked with the um, Valor was the air compressor. And there probably wasn't room to do that on this, but let's go take a look. Nice ramp here, all weather ramp. No compressor, but they do have the fuel station fill up here, which is really nice to put fuel nice. in all your toys and everything. And then I wonder if this has a generator too. I don't see one. Do you see one, Jen? No. I don't see one either. So we'll have to ask about that. Um, but yeah, let's go take a look on the inside. Okay. It's kind of cool that they're letting us like see it at the stage so it early is, on yeah. too. Like that's what I've always liked about Alliance. It's like you see things early on and floor plans early on, so they collect a lot of feedback before they find right. something. And that is cool. Again, like Jen said, leave in the comments below. Let us know on all of these what you like and don't like. Because Alliance is that company where they'll make the right changes anytime. They don't wait for the next year. If there's something that needs to be fixed, they do it. Okay. We're in the garage right now. In the garage, what's really cool is you do still have the double beds, even though you don't always get that in a toy hauler or in a travel trailer because it's not as tall. But look at how tall these ceilings are. Again, we're in a travel trailer. Right. Um, a nice patio door. You got the um, little rails that go around. And then again, this will turn into a bed as well here. Very so really nice. nice. Half bath right here. It's a small one, but... Is that typical to get a half bath in a travel trailer? Not before? really, yeah. I haven't seen as m many of them, so... I wasn't sure. Look, hi you. Hi you, you wanna come in? Come on! Oh no, okay, I okay, fine. All right, moving into this kitchen. Let me see what floor plan this is really quick. They don't have it labeled, but if I had to guess it's around, what do you think? 30 to 35 feet, somewhere yeah. around there. It's a really good size kitchen for the size trailer. You know, having the kitchen island and everything is nice. I love the Furion, <clears throat> the Furion refrigerator. Um, I do like this couch setup. What do you think of this, Jen? I like that a lot, actually. I like this a lot, too, because there's no way you would have got a couch and a dinette. Right. Yeah, um, I, I'm because I'm I'm fine not having a dinette. I can eat on the couch. Right. And I like how that can become three seats, or if you want it to be, like, theater seat with, like, your nice um, right. cup holders and stuff in the middle. I wonder if they have a table, too. They might offer that, you know, yeah, but it is pretty it narrow now, here. That would, that would be oh, my feedback. But you don't need it because you can eat in the back. Oh, I mean, right. You know, yeah. you could put a table back there. Um, to answer the earlier question, it looks like it, it does have a generator. Oh, so okay, cool. Awesome. Here and also, that. I just wanted to show from this view, like, yeah. you have the whole entertainment area right across from the couch. Right. And what is, oh, is that a pantry? Pantry here, yeah. Nice. Sorry, I'm going, maybe going out No, no, you're you. fine. I'm missing That's stuff nice. too, so. Okay, over here, nice, um, bathroom again well, this pretty is decent cool. look there's two entries right so you have your yeah, so you can get to yeah. the bedroom i'll let you go in jen so that slides not all the way out oh I can, so it's a little okay. bit tighter but i mean actually like i can still get by and yeah. it's not all the way out so but a uh, nice 
you know, good size queen bed, great closet space. Yeah. Overall, and, and again, there's some things that they need to touch up and that they'll probably change to make even better. Right. But overall, it's pretty impressive for, yeah. you know, the first... Yeah, I think it's cool how you have like a, a pocket, or is it a barn door? Yeah, it's a barn door from the bedroom where you can access the bathroom. That is really cool. Or a door from the main living area. Right. So, cool. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting layout. I like it that. It is, yeah. So, well, that's really, and that's really exciting because this, I think what's even more exciting about the release of this is it's Alliance's first travel it trailer. It is, it is. So, it's exciting to see them starting yeah. to break into the travel trailer market. I think in the next year or two, you might even see like more advances. For sure, yeah. Trailers. They said that they their goal is to have more travel trailers coming on, um, you know, next year. So it's going to be at least another six months or so. Yeah. But I'm very excited to see what travel trailers oh, they too. come out with in addition to this. So mm -hmm. and just, you know, appeal to more RV buyers Yeah, and stuff. for sure. So, well, this was an cool. exciting. So that kind of wraps up the video. That's yeah. like all of them, really the new stuff that we wanted to show you guys. Right. Yeah, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, we really try to come out to events like this and everything to ke catch this footage for you. You know, bring you everything that's new. So I, ho I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Again, like I said earlier, Alliance is one of the companies that truly, truly listens to customer feedback. So make sure to leave down in the comments below. They watch our channel a lot and they read your comments. Let us know down below what you guys like and don't like and what changes you would like to see them change. And um, I think you'd be surprised to see many of those uh, suggestions take effect. Yeah, so, they're going to be definitely reading the comments, so make oh, yeah. sure you let them know. For sure. Yeah, huge thanks to them for allowing us to be here and inviting us out and filming. And, um, you know, Alliance has always been great owners, great people to us. We appreciate everything they do. You know, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, we do videos like this, which are kind of more educational videos um, on Wednesdays than we do our vlog style on Sundays. So make sure to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell and everything. And um, we'll catch you next time. Bye. See ya.